Okay, so what I've got here is a freshly mated queen. She's kind of on a weird spot on the frame. Looks like she went around to the other side. So flip it over. I am going to catch her. Mark her with a blue dot, because that's this year's color. And then get her in a cage. So basically for the catch, I grab both wings. At least that's ideal. If you get one wing, that can be not good. But there we go. Got her by both wings. Now I'll set you here. Hopefully you can see, got another bee. But now I'm gonna grab her by her thorax. So I got her there pinched. Gotta be very, very gentle. I'm holding a $30 insect. So now I'm gonna paint this dot with a paint pen on her thorax. You can see that. Blue. Now I'm going to grab her by both wings again. Grab a cage. Put her in the cage. Close it up. There you have it. So uh, this nuke is kind of big here. I try to run them small. <laughs> because the fewer bees there are to look through, got some junk on the camera, the faster I find the queen. So I'm gonna be probably pulling this frame out. This is a beautiful frame here. This is how I know that she's a good mated queen. All those little golden caps, that's a baby bee on the way. So she's mated good, she's laying heavy. So I'll leave this frame in the nuke I run them at one frame a brood. So I'm gonna leave that one frame. These other two, are, I'll pull them out. Uh, might leave this frame actually. But anyway, I'll pull them out, drop dry combs back in, um, put a cell back in it. Those are all ready for cells. And maybe I'll post a picture of the cells. Um, put a cell back in it, she'll mate in two weeks. I'll catch it week three again, come back with more cells, just repeat the process. Got a whole bunch of them chilling in my pocket. <laughs>